Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be uh, going over how to go on a tour in the Glocal app. So first off, let's go ahead and open up the application and we have the main globe screen. So just using the tips of my fingertips, I could scroll through here and select the specific city I want. And this in this case, let's go ahead and uh, expand it and select San Francisco and go ahead and go into that city. And you can see there's all these tours that we can choose from. But for this one, how about we do a dog-friendly tour? So uh, me and my buddy, uh, Dubose Triangle. That's, one. Uh, that's the one we're going to try this time. And it looks like we're at a dog park. And there's also going to be an awesome coffee shop. Looks really good. And then uh, after the dog park, it looks like we're also going to be hitting up a bar. So it looks pretty interesting. I'm very excited for that. And I'm going to scroll lower. There's the uh, actual tags for this tour. And also looks like there's a little bit of a description so that uh, the tour creator will uh, let us know exactly what they wanted us to do at each spot. So it looks like we're going to go to the uh, Four Barrel Coffee is our first stop, get some breakfast or something like that. And then we're going to head over to DeBose Park. Uh, for some frolicking fun with our doggies and then afterwards looks like we're gonna head over to Toronado I think it's a bar in Lower Haight, which I think I guess is dog friendly So this seems very very fun if I scroll lower you can see who the tour is created by and then uh, there's a little map section. If I go and tap on the map here, I'm going to blow up the actual map and shows you the route of where uh, you're going to be heading in the tour. So it looks like one, two, three. That looks very doable. So let's go ahead and tap the X at the top left, get out of that view, and let's go ahead and start this tour. Once I do, the map will zoom in. I'm going to go ahead and try to find where I'm at. There we go, so here we go, there's the route. Looks like the first stop is Four Barrel, the second is DuBose Park Dog Play Area, and the third is the Toronado Bar. So let's go ahead and select the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and just tap on that uh, note card there that says Four Barrel Coffee. And once I do, uh, the location uh, information pops up. Looks like uh, I see the uh, address, the phone number, and conveniently there's also the uh, time of hours that they're open so that's awesome hopefully that's a uh, great information for you and then looks like there's a photos that uh, other people have posted up before so I'm gonna go ahead and tap view all and uh, looks like the all displayed I'm gonna go ahead and just select the first one just kind of scroll through here very cool so that's good. And then let me go ahead and go back. And it looks like there was also a comment that was left by someone. So let me go ahead and select the comment. And it looks like it's a video. So apparently this person has gangster moves. So let's take a look here. Very cool. Super efficient. So hopefully we'll see that guy when we go. So let me go ahead and go back here and uh, if I'm at the actual place and I want to upload some photos just like the rest of the people have too, I could always tap on that camera icon towards the top middle there. And if there's a comment that I want to leave, I could tap on the air bubble there and I could either record a video or maybe take a selfie or write whatever comments or take, I don't know, a video of the interior so you get a feel for what it's like inside. I don't know, but you, I'll leave that for you guys to go all crazy with. But uh, that's the comments feature. And another cool tool is the uh, directions button. So it's to the left of the camera icon. If I go ahead and select it, uh, I get a couple options here. So I could either uh, open the directions on Google, Google Maps, Apple Maps, and I could also get a ride with Uber. So if I go ahead and select ride with Uber, if you have it already installed on your phone, it's going to go ahead and deep link uh, where you're at and where the de destination is. So all you really need to do is just tap on the button and request a driver. So hopefully that's very convenient for you. Let me go back to the local app here. I'm going to go ahead and now try it maybe with Google Maps this time. If I do, again, if you have Google Maps installed on your phone, it's going to deep link again and uh, show you the different uh, ways to get there and it will deep link so it knows where you're at and where your destination is so hopefully that's a lot uh, it's pretty convenient for you to use perfect so let's go ahead and go back here and uh, I'm now let's say I'm done drinking my coffee and I'm ready to go play with uh, with my dogs at the dog park so go ahead and tap the X mark 
go back to this tour view here. I think the second one is going to be the DuBose Park uh, dog play area. If I go and select it, you can see how to get there and any other photos that other people have uploaded. Looks super fun for the dogs. And uh, we'll go ahead and tap X. And now, uh, after some running around, our, our much needed brewski here. So let's go ahead and tap Taranato. And you can see uh, the address and the time of hours and how to get there and all of that. And uh, looks like a really awesome bar. So uh, that's, uh, that's the third spot. Let me go ahead and tap X. So after getting coffee and playing with your dogs and getting some beers and you're done now. So all that's left is to uh, end the tour. So if I go ahead and slide it to the left, we're at the very last card. I'm going to go ahead and tap end tour. And what that does is opens up a congratulations screen, just letting you know that you completed it. You could rate the tour. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a five star like that. And if I wanted to add a review, I'll just tap on the add a review button at the bottom. And again, I could record a selfie or some sort of video if I wanted to by tapping on that camera or the film camera icon. And also I could add a review here too. So maybe something like, um, let's see. Something like that, my pooch loved it. Something like that. So I'm just gonna tap done to hide the keyboard and then I'll go ahead and post a review. And that's it. Uh, you've completed the tour, you went on it, you rated it, you reviewed it, awesome. If I go ahead and select that same tour and I scroll all the way to the bottom, you're actually gonna see your comment there and then how you rated it as well. So hopefully that's some really fun, neat tools for you to utilize and uh, uh, hopefully it made it easier for you to actually go on one of these tours you know it seems super easy just a couple taps and you're ready to go so uh, i hope you guys have fun exploring the city with it thanks guys